Hello and welcome to Jamie's Motion Graphics episode 52. Today we're making this. Today I will explain to you how you can create awesome text animations in 2D or 3D. Actually, we're not really making this one. We're going to make another one, but it's very similar. So yeah, you'll see it. But it's uh, it's fairly easy to make and you can make some very great animations with that. So um, enjoy. Okay, here we are in After Effects. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like to make this thing. It's very easy. You uh, you have a bunch of layers here and you start off with basically the spoken text and the background and then you plop all of these words just on there and you animate them as you want to over uh, well in time as well as well this uh, this D is actually animated well separately. But for the rest, yeah, you can see how it works. And to get this zoom effect or zooming out effect, you use a camera. So yeah, it's fairly easy to do. The only thing is lining it up with the text is kind of uh, tricky, but yeah, well, we'll just do a new one and I will show you how it works. So we'll start off with a new composition. It's going to be 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, 30 seconds long, because well, we need to have a well, enough room to work with. I'm going to start with the spoken text. It's not actually necessary, but I kind of forgot what I made. This is a new text, so uh, I kind of forgot what I, uh, well, what I did. So we're going to just bring up the waveform. You can see that it actually displays the words a little bit. And um, yeah, let's just hear what I have to say. That was what I made before. Now we're going to make something new. Okay, excellent. Apparently we're going to make something new. So um, the entire text is going to be in the same uh, font, I think. But for now, uh, let's, let's first start off with the background layer. We're just going to make a solid. Obviously you can make whatever you want. Oh yeah, let's just take gray. It's, uh, it's boring, but it works. We're going to uh, start with our first word. You don't need to do it exactly the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm just doing it in a way that, well, kind of works for me. Doesn't mean you have to do it in the same way. So um, I think it started with that. Uh, hang on. Yeah, that's not how that works. Let's go to another layer. That was what I made before. That was what I made before. So we're going to start with that. Um, yeah, it's, it should be a little bit bigger because it needs to pop on like, uh, like you mean it. You can do that in several ways, by the way. You can also just uh, plop in the camera immediately, which is actually what we're going to do. The problem is the maximum text pixels is 1296 or something like that. Um, yeah, so after that you have to scale and that's just not as good. Um, that warning I just got says that uh, the camera doesn't do anything with 2D layers. Which means that um, if we leave, uh, well, let me just show you. If I make these into 3D layers, I go to the position of the camera and I zoom out, then you can see that both of them become smaller. However, if I turn off the 3D thing and I do exactly the same thing, nothing happens. If, however, I turn on the 3D layer on the words, but not the background, this is what happens. The background stays the same, the word, however, can be zoomed in on. So we're going to zoom in quite a bit here, and then we're going to reposition our word to, uh, well, where we actually want it. So it's going to be, like, big, because we want everything that we plop on the screen to be part, really a part of the screen, so not like a tiny corner, no, it has to be big. And I prefer to do two words before zooming out. So, um, yeah, the next word is obviously going to be was, so the only thing you need to do was just type in was, uh, make it a 3D layer immediately, because uh, the camera will affect where it is and how big it is, and as you can see it's quite big. And that's not what we want. We want it to be a little bit smaller, or at least different. You can also make it uh, into just a different uh, font, or, well, in this case, italic. It's all good. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to line it up to the right side. 
And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to create something so that was uh, what uh, can be like vertical here and just well be different. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's make a different font by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm moving the camera down here. It's not really important where it is for now. Uh, the position needs to be keyframed though. So at, uh, at some point you are going to change that. So um, I'm going to just zoom out for now, uh, not really care about too much. We're just going to see what it looks like in the end. Uh, no, without a capital. So yeah, uh, make it a 3D layer immediately. And find it. Because I moved the camera. Well, I zoomed in the camera. And that's why they all move off screen. We're going to rotate it. So R and then um, it's Y rotation, I believe. Although, yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, 90 degrees. Nope. The other one, Z then. Yes. Z rotation, 90 degrees. Um, 90 degrees. I don't know what I typed, but it was obviously wrong. And we're going to make the font big enough to drop over the sides. And then we're going to drag it so that it actually fits in here. So how big you make it, yeah, that's up to you. Um, I personally like it to be like one letter off the screen at this point. So something like this would be nice. So I'm trying to keep the, uh, the top straight so the top of the T should be the top of the W here so maybe a little bit to the bottom here and now we're going to zoom out on the camera obviously you need to make a keyframe for that and we're going to make keyframes every 10 things it doesn't really matter it's just that I want something that I can use later if I uh, if I want to so hit the position on the camera this is not the camera uh, on the camera, hit the position and just zoom out. I uh, I like to do it manually, or well, rather on these things. You can probably do it in diff in a different way. Oh, and um, this what you just saw is because we have um, yeah some random thing turned on. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, just with the camera selected, go to transform. Auto orient, that's what it's called. Auto orientation. Uh, <coughs> sorry. It always looks at the same point, which means that if you move the camera left or right, it will look at, keep looking at the same point, which means basically the camera turns. If that doesn't make sense, I can show you, I think, by going to the top and then turning it back on. So now at this point, if I move left to right, it does this. So you can see that the camera will look at the same point. And if we go to the effect, uh, sorry, yeah, layer transform, auto orient and turn it back on. Then if I move it, this is what happens. And that's why you see that change in what the text looks like. And you can see that the camera actually rotates. And that's exactly what we don't want. So we're going to undo that. And we are going to go to the normal view again, which is camera one. So I'm, um, I, I zoomed out already. And I'm now going to position it in the top left corner. I didn't zoom out enough or I didn't zoom out at all yet. So I'm trying to make a, a tight fit though. So you want to not zoom out too much because it simply doesn't look as good. Um, so yeah, next one, next up is uh, I made. Uh, I don't want to do the the I separately, I think. Uh, I think I just want to do I made or something like that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go top left to bottom right. So I either go this way or to the bottom. In this case, I'm going to go right. And I'm going to fill this little gap that's still here. We can actually zoom in a little bit. Uh, make sure that you're not on top of some other text if you click somewhere or make a new text layer before you do this. But And obviously what we want here is we want to select this 
make it a 3D layer, drag it back, because we we are still kind of well well zoomed out actually. Um, the thing is, if you don't like what you created here, uh, let me find something cool. Uh, if you don't like what you created in um, in terms of the camera, uh, well, you can you can change it. So, for example, I um, I don't like it here because I want this to be a decent size, but I also don't want to zoom out at this point. So what I want is the camera to already be here, so to be at this size, so that the horizontal size at least fits. And the vertical size we can adjust, but yeah, I'm going to position it right here. And now we're going to adjust the what to be a little bit bigger. So we can make it like this, for example, and we fit it in here. It can be a little bit bigger even. So let's see. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, it needs to be over here. And it's basically just positioning the text so that, yeah, it, it looks right. So let's uh, adjust this by making it a little bit smaller. And that should be fine. So now drag the camera position over to your last camera position. Because we don't want the, uh, well, the other one. So now it goes straight from uh, uh, that was to actually this, so the what should have been right there. See, this is the first camera position, this is the second. We don't really care about lining it up currently. Uh, what I made, and then we're going to go into something that runs all the way underneath this. So we're going to zoom out a bit. Well, enough to make a nice big word because you want it to be bigger and bigger and bigger because obviously that's how this works oh um yeah i need to move the camera so move the camera so that it looks like the text is in the top left and we're going to create another text And I don't remember the rest of the text, so I'm going to have to listen to it again. Um, let's make it regular. Let's no, actually let's make it, yeah. Well, no, regular kind of looks okay, I guess. Uh, it's going to be bigger, obviously. Um, the F actually makes it into the made which is not what I want, so make it a little bit smaller until it doesn't. And you can either line it up with this, like I did now, or you can line it up with the right side of the screen, which is fine as well. Uh, as long as you choose something, you don't want to be you're just here in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to line it up with this, I think. Yeah, so this line is now all the way here. And that's how this kind of looks nice, because, well, you have all these lines in there, all these, well, that's also why I lined these up and things like that. So it's really just tiny things, but they are kind of important. So let's listen what I made before. Now we're going to make... Okay, now we're going to make something new. So we're already over here normally. Um, yeah, I only have one word here, but I'm um, just going to zoom out anyway because I have this big gap here in um, yeah in the timeline. So I'm just going to use that to zoom out. We can actually start a new composition at this point or a new uh, frame, I uh, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to just zoom out and um, do it that way. So let's uh, let's zoom out and go to the top left again. Um, 
Okay, text now. We can actually make a dot in there as well. So that we have a secondary thing. Um, yeah, currently we are kind of zoomed out enough so that it doesn't uh, displace or grow anymore if you turn it into the 3D layer. And we are going to make it bold just so that it kind of looks different. I don't know where to place it. So let's let's just rotate it 90 degrees. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. There's no good way to place this one, it seems. Okay, let's let's try something like this. So I'm going to line up the end with the side here. Um, actually, we needed two words to fit. So yeah, let's first of all make a dot behind this one. So before this uh, this disappears, we want to have a dot in there. So just duplicate the layer or just type it in again. I don't really care. But now everything is already pre-made. So that's kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> it really doesn't want me to <laughs> position it. I oh, know this one. Position. Hello. Oh. Apparently I selected the text now. Come on. There you go. Finally. So I can just uh, plop that in there. It's all fine. So um, we're going to go to when, uh, when we actually zoom out. Now we're going to make some. Um, I think I'm just going to position this here. It wouldn't make sense at all though. Like there's no good way to do this one. And yeah, I guess I'll just have to work with it the way it is. Which is do it a little bit less and position this one so that it matches with the dot there, so and that it still fits on the screen. So we're just going to have to zoom out after this, and yeah, it's, it's fine. It's not what I wanted, uh, or not my well, initial thought on this, but yeah, since I'm doing this live, I kind of have to make the decisions live as well, which means I sometimes well, are not, am not really sure about whether or not it's a good decision. Um, no, uh, I selected the text. I told you not to, and I do it anyway. Okay. So let's make it a 3D layer. It becomes a little bit smaller now. Because we're actually zooming out, so it becomes smaller. And we're going to tune it down a little. Make the same effect that we did before, I guess. Uh, let's not make it bold, let's make it regular. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do the going. Let's go. Going. And let's rotate this one 90 degrees, I guess. Let's 
put it a little bit bigger, make it into italic. And zoom out. Uh, yeah, the camera, where are you? Yeah, we're going to have to move forward a few frames. And zoom out. So yeah, I want this to be uh, so that there's room left on the right side so I can put the text on the right side. Uh, this is a little bit too big, I believe. So let's, um, let's tune down this one a little bit. Come on. Stop doing that. No. Ugh. Apparently, I didn't select anything. That was excellent. So, yeah, let's... Um, Let's adjust this text then, so that it's just a little bit smaller, so it will actually fit, and line it up with the top of the now, and then we're going to make the two. The two is going to be super big, and it's going to fit into this entire thing. So let's hope that we can actually do that and it will look nice because that is always the question of course whether something you have in your head actually looks nice in reality. Okay, um, we're going to make something new. Make something new. So um, yeah, make can actually fit underneath here. Yeah, let's just zoom out first. I think that's the easiest way to do this. And then we can see where we have room left. So yeah, just... Oh, did I not turn it into a 3D layer? Oh, that is so stupid. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Again, now it has to be bigger. I'm trying to create something similar to what I did before. <laughs> uh, so stupid. Um, yeah, so the two. And then we're going to zoom out, as I said. Uh, zoom out. And let's put it to the top left again. Actually, I want to do something like make and then something and then new next to it. We can actually do that. We have to zoom out on the new, but it will be fine. Make. Whoa. Yeah, it's starting to become a little bit big. So, 3D layer. This is why you normally want your camera up top, by the way. Because then you can actually find it. So, 3D layer. Uh, let's put it into place. Rotate it 90 degrees. And it has to be a lot smaller than this. Something like this, I think. Let's see. Let's amplify this. Okay, maybe a little font change wouldn't hurt. Okay, that's good. Uh, something, something. Make it a 3D layer. You know the drill. 
rotate it minus 90 degrees to make something new. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So minus 90 degrees, which means that it reverses. Um, we're going to position it there and make it a little bit smaller. Preferably exactly the same size as the make. We're probably not going to manage that though. But it's pretty close. Okay, so um, yeah, now new is, uh, is our last word and for that we are going to zoom out even more. Uh, position smaller. How about you just, nope. So yeah, I want this, uh, this last one to be kind of super big. That's why I'm zooming out so far. I think this is a little bit too far now, but we'll see. Yes, it is. Ah, well, we'll see. First, we'll create the word, and then we'll see how far we need to go back. Um, let's make it bold. What's black? Oh, that's actually even wider. Uh, I think that's not what we want, but we'll keep it for now. Add 3D layer first, so it becomes a lot smaller, because that's how it works. We zoomed out quite a bit, so it becomes smaller. And you don't actually have to do this into the, or put this into the layer. Yeah, indeed, we don't want it to be this... Um, yeah, like this. Uh, I actually would like it to be higher, but we can't make it any higher, unfortunately. See, I wanted this to fit on next next to this, but it really doesn't fit. As in, it doesn't look right because there's such a huge thing here. So let's um, let's zoom back in a little bit and position our camera so that everything fits again. Can we actually tune down this new so that it actually looks correct? Like this, maybe. Yeah, my problem is just that it's not far enough to the south here. Let's, um, I don't know. Let's just first fit it in. Maybe we can just move the camera up a little bit. It still looks weird. Especially because the dad has been in the top left corner for the entire time. And now it all of a sudden isn't. But I guess that's fine. Um, we could actually... Hmm. We could make it into 3D, so make some kind of 3D effect on this guy, so that it becomes kind of different. We're going to hit the R for rotation, and rotate around the Y axis the other way, so that it becomes relatively high compared to its size. We could also make the something into you. Something like this. Make them make into something like that. Then the other way. 
like that. So there's something, let's take the position and let's move it to the left. And then the new. Yeah, let's up the the size on that now. Because now it could actually fit. See, and this is where you run into the maximum, 1296. And now we have to do scale for the rest of the the thing. The size, I guess. And now it actually works better. So this is what I was looking for. Oh, you have to just scale. So hold control if you want to do some uh, fine tuning on your numbers. So if you if your dragon runs uh, and you hold control, it will go ten times slower. So that's actually very useful. So I guess this looks okay. So you can see that with the rotation on the y-axis you can actually make 3d like effects and it can look very nice and I'll definitely do uh, some kind of a tutorial on that in the future because you can really make some really nice things with that uh, let me put that back into the corner and then put the new a little bit to the bottom like that Okay, it's not great. I think the first one is better than this one, but it's not bad. I think it turned out okay. So the only thing we still need to do is actually match it up with the timing and then match the camera with the timing as well. So first of all, we're going to close down all of these uh, things that are still open. We have kind of a, yeah, a nicer overview of all the words. So the camera is going to be somewhere down here and it's going to be for later concern. Currently we're just going to match up the words with, uh, with, with the actual text. So here it starts and you can press the dot on your uh, keypad to play this, to play only the sound. That was what so this is the dad, which I already knew. But now the was, I'm, I'm asking myself, is this the was or is the was in this one? I'm pretty sure it's this one, but that's what I made. So yeah, if you stand over here, then it will say was as the first word, which means this is the was. That's what I made. So the was is right here. And this is probably the what? What I made. Yes. Um, did I just? Yeah, I messed it up. I dragged down. Uh, I dragged the gray solid as well, which is the background. Uh, so this is the what? The I? I don't know. Maybe this one. I made before. I made beef. I made beef. I'm just trying to go frame by frame. I made beef. I made beef. I think the I is here. So I made. And then before is somewhere here. Made before. No, before is over here. Before. Yep. So before. And then you can put the dot wherever, like over here. Dot. That's actually really late. Let's put it over here somewhere. And then we're going to go into the now. Now we're. So. This is the weird. We're going to. 
So if you record a text like this, try to pronounce each word as thoroughly as possible because then you can see them on the line. Otherwise you're searching, well, everything because everything looks like this, like this blob that's over here. And if you just pronounce the words separately, then you can definitely see them on the line. And yes, it will sound like you're really trying your best to pronounce them, but well, if you do it correctly, people won't even notice it because they're really looking at the animation and not at what's being said. Obviously, you can do this with songs as well. Songs are pronounced pretty decently, so um, although the music will kind of screw it up, but yeah, sometimes it's cool. We're going to make so the weir is all already here. We're going to make. Going to. Now this is just a going. I'm going to make some. 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 The two is here. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't seem like a big deal. Like yeah, it's like three frames. Who cares? But yeah, it's, it really makes a difference in the animation because, well, it's all about those really small, well, things that are happening. Um, I'm going to pick up all of these layers. Well, there are only three left. And I'm going to drag them over here so I have them available. Make something. Make is over here. something new. Something. And then the new is all the way in the end. Something new. No, that's still this thing. Something new. Something new. Okay. New is over there. Okay, what it looks like now is this. That was what I made. Uh oh. This. A little low. That was what I made before. Now we're going to make something new. Okay, um, the thing is, the camera isn't done yet. You might have noticed that it kind of looks all over the place and that's the only thing we still need to really fix. So we're going to go to the camera, hit the P for position. And remember, we already did these keyframes. So all we need to do now is make sure that it actually lines up so when is the first zoom out? Well, it's over here with the what. So move away the point where it's not. So um, the basic rule here is we go to the first frame where we need this, um, yeah, this new word, this new zoom, I should say. Then we go four frames into the past my preference for frames. It doesn't have to be yours. And then we copy paste, control C, control V, the last keyframe, which means that it doesn't do anything up until the point where it reaches this. Then it starts to zoom and it will zoom in four keyframes. To me, four keyframes is the number because it just looks right. Now we're going to make the same thing here. So drag this to the right position. Go four frames into the past and copy paste this one. So they're always lined up like this. And because you pronounce your words so well, there are always there's always going to be room for this. So this is an exception here. Because we have a huge amount of space from well the moment the dot appears to the moment we actually are here. So we might actually want to do something like this, like the dot appears. We're going to go a few frames into the future and just do it like this and then see how that works. Because now this is kind of a zoom before the now and it might actually look good. Um, so the next zoom is when the weir appears, I think.
Yeah, this is definitely, these should be moved to the back somewhere. And this is where it's at. One, two, three, four. Copy paste. And then going is obviously our next one. So this is where the going appears. And now it's actually correct. So one, two, three, four. And just copy paste this. So yeah, this is a very tight squeeze, but that's because we um, we only made one word. So we have one word and then immediately we're going to zoom out again. So yeah, you might want to adjust this to be three, for example, if, um, if it annoys you that it's not standing still. Um, yeah, for the rest, there's not a whole lot you can do about that because, well, you want to have two words every time. So here we have the two coming in as well. And then make is where we zoom again. And then you will see that there's a lot more room to make these four keyframes. And you can see that this is a much bigger distance than what we had here, which is like one or two frames. And then a new comes in over here somewhere. There you go. One, two, three, four. Of course, you normally want to plan this out a little bit better. And then you get something better normally. So, yeah, what it looks like now is, oh, let me set this to fit up to 100%, hit zero. That was what I made before. Now we're going to make something new. So you can see that it now times perfectly with the text. And it also is exactly what we want it to be. We want it to be like all of these words coming on in different ways. And you see, I used one font. It actually looks kind of good if you use totally different fonts here. Don't use the super fancy ones, uh, but if you use fonts that are kind of similar, but not entirely the same, uh, it can look very, very nice. And you should definitely try that. But really, that's all there is to it. All you have to do is just line it up, well, time-wise, as well as camera-wise, and it's a fairly easy process. And you can also do this with other stuff, of course, but uh, text is normally what it's used for. And um, yeah, it can give you some really, really awesome animations. So I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I will see you next time. Today, I will explain to you how you can create awesome text animations in 2D or 3D. That was what I made before. Now we're going to make something new. Mm -hmm.